Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're back at the G-Tech uh, A10M from GearBest. So one of the things I've whipped up is an adapter to mount a dial indicator to the hot end to do some bed tramming. So I've also whipped up some G-Code. If you remember back in 2017, I also did this for the CR10. I think I've done this for the uh, JG Aurora. So kind of long story short, I'll have links below where you can get this G-Code as well as uh, the adapter. It's out on Thingiverse. I'll have some links to the dial indicator if you want it. But kind of a long story short, what I basically do is I do a paper level on this. And then what I can do is run this code. So I'm just going to reach over you here a little bit and go down and say print from SD card. And I have it on there. And it's my alignment G-Code. And then basically what happens when it goes to run It'll go down, it'll do an auto home as you can see, and then it'll raise itself up for installation of the assembly on here. Now I've already got it uh, placed on here. You can either put it on from the start after the homing or during the sequence. Now what happens is this will wait about 20 seconds um, for you to insert it. It does it well for about 20 seconds. And that's where you mount it. Now the next thing it'll do as you can see here is it will come down and it will touch off on the plate and then it'll zero out you want to zero out the indicator and then what will happen is it will then run across the bed and you can kind of you can you can see I'm a bit off on the the bed here from this corner now what you want to do and I've done videos on this in the past when you go ahead and you tram this you kind of want even the distribution of the air across the bed you'll never get it totally perfect but the idea is to get it as close as you can and so basically you can see we're running across and one of the great things to do is kind of film this because standing up here I can't see it unless I really look down uh, but you can kind of see how this is and now this will run forward now this gives you some time to kind of record measurements and adjust and then after it comes up here it just comes to um, you know a safe position for you to remove it and you're all done and you can see over here that the ATM, A10M is ready so hopefully you'll find this handy I, I, I really love using um, this to tram my bed I, I've got these for the majority of my printers and again the idea really is to distribute the error uh, for the bed leveling so again you'll never get it perfect but this really helps to kind of divide it up so again first step you do the paper level then you kind of run this tramming routine see where your highs and low spots are now one of the things I can tell you is I know I've got th this this glass bed has got an indentation in the center so I really have to average out for this so it really squishes the plastic on the outside matter of fact I'm actually going to get a different uh, bed for this because this this uh, depression is rather significant here but uh, anyways this will allow you to also see that and map your bed now this is the clockwise and if you look back and, and do a search on my channel uh, this also has a computer interface so I could uh, connect this to my computer and um, do a point cloud of this bed if I wanted to so you can do all kinds of neat stuff with this and uh, so anyways I find it handy and interesting I've got the part out on Thingiverse so if you want to go snag it it's out there uh, if you do a make of this hey please post it on Thingiverse I appreciate it also be sure to follow me on Thingiverse I've got uh, over 175 designs out there already uh, pushing for 200 and so anyways uh, I think that's about it so don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there the bell also swag shop up in the corner and hey we'll see you in the next video where we do something else with this cool printer cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel